Hey, what's up, what's up, YouTube? I'm on this. This is King G with a house. I want to say thank you to those who subscribe and those who have not subscribed. What's up, subscribe. Tomorrow is the giveaway. Yes, 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 yes. Tomorrow is the giveaway. Well, here I am. I'm in Manhattan taking I, I had like a three-hour drive down here. So I came down here because I got to take my wife to some appointment there. So it's not a bad drive. There's not that much traffic, actually. So here I am in the Wall Street, Wall Street. There's mad cops on him. They got like guns and shit because this is close to Trump Towers. Well, guys, I was thinking tomorrow's Christmas time. And I'm going to go out and give out some food for the homeless. I was thinking that maybe you guys, if you guys know, have no time, you can buy yourself maybe a pound of ham, a pound of cheese, and get some bread, wrap it up in aluminum foil, and get some more, actually not aluminum foil, Get um some some wrappers and I mean, what wrappers? I'm talking about. I forget. You know, you put them inside um the foil itself. Though you know the the, the plastic bags. I'm so much so so much in my mind. These past few days that I forget the names of these 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 bags. These these bags that you call them. I hate when it does that. And you give them away to your, and you go to you to your local area where there's homeless people, and you, you give them out. And you say, "Hey, man, Merry Christmas!" You know, it's nothing better. To, it's better to give than to receive, my friends. Um, you know, uh, God rewards you in many ways. You know, um, some people say um, He doesn't reward me quick enough. But remember, God is a justified God. He rewards you when He knows that you're ready for the reward, not when you want it or, you know. Like they say, you know, with great powers comes great responsibility. And that's it. So that's what that's what you should be doing for Christmas. And I hope you guys enjoy your Christmases. And I hope that this year has been a blessed year. And over the next year will be even more blessed. You know, you have good comings, good, good tidings coming to you. If you had a bad year, forget about the past. Um, look, always look forward to the future. For those who want to make it big and who, you know, don't let anyone or anything get in your way. You're your own. You, you're your own. You're your own. You're your own stopper. You know. You you do things your way. You do things the way you want them to do. Um, don't let anyone deter you from your dreams. If they say they say if they say you can't make it, you say I will make it. You know. Don't let anything. Don't let anything stop you. If you got one leg, hop to your success. If you got no 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 hands, you know. Just make sure that you you give it your all. Don't let anything or anyone stop you. Because this is your life, this is your dream, and if you fail, and if you think you fail, you get back up, and you just keep on going, and you keep on grinding, you keep on grinding. You know, failure is not to have tried. That's failing. But if you fail, that you tried, that's not failing. It's, it's, it's called success. Many successful people have failed in the first attempt in order to them to, to succeed. Look at um, look at the story with um, the colonel. The colonel went over to the the his story was that the KFC, he went to over one thousand banks before he even got the first bank to give him money for his chicken. Um, there are a lot of stories. The guy who who, who did Subway, he's, he was a high school dropout. There are a lot of success stories out there that you can hang on to and you can inspire yourself with. Um, that Martin Luther King Jr. He's a very he's in, he's an inspiration to all because. He believes in equality. He believes that everyone should be treated equal. And this is not a black and white America. This is an America for all. Um, this, this, this country was founded on immigration. Um, the history is very, it's a very cruel history of the United States. You know, how uh, how the whites got here and how they took over and they poisoned everything for, for these poor Indians. But nevertheless, we weren't there. And that's just history. We're here now. And we got to conserve what we have and cherish what we have and, and, and make a better future for our kids. And like I said, if you want to become successful in life, you gotta you just got to go for it, man. You just, gotta, you just can't let nothing and no one let you down. I mean, my my recovery from alcohol was, was it was hard. It was hard. You know, I had, I, had, I, had a, I had a supportive family, but I had a mom one time. She said, ah, you're not going to stop drinking. You never want to stop drinking. I told my wife, you know, that was a waste of time. And that, to me, just gave me more of a push to move forward. And I've been six years sober. Um, and if I sit here and tell you my my history, you'd be like, wow. I've been through a lot. I'm telling you, I've been, I lived in the streets of New York. I lived here in the cold for four months. I begged in the streets. 
Um, I, I did. I've been through a lot. I've seen what homelessness is all about. I seen what addiction to alcohol is all about. Um, I've never seen. I've never said. I, I, I've seen the drugging. I've seen people use crack. I use people use heroin. Uh, a friend of mine in Puerto Rico died of her, of a heroin overdose in my car. I was I took him to the spot after he had six, after he was six months sober. He decides to shoot up and he died. So I've seen people get shot in front of my face. I seen people get shot in front of my face around where I live at. So it's nothing, nothing new to me. Nothing scares me in life. But one thing that does scare me now, you know, is my moving, my my getting my own place now. My wife and I, we're our house is our, our, our house is pending. Our offer is pending. Um, we're just waiting for the program to approve it. The, the underwriter already approved it. And it's something. To, it's, it's coming. It's, it's a success for me because. I've been through so much, you know, my wife and I, you know, she, she supported me through my alcoholism. She was there. My wife is my ride or die, man. Um, she is my ride or die. Besides, so you, you know, you, you say your kids and all that, but to me, I mean, I love my kids, but my wife is the one that, that's always been there, and she will always be there, and, 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 and I will give everything for her. You know, if I had to die for her, I would, you know. But um, I'd be teary, too, saying that. But yeah, any success, any you look at history, any successful man always had a woman beside him. So, every for every every you guys out there who are successful, give thanks to that woman that helped you out. You may say, "Oh, I was the one that did all the work," but hey, she was the one that supported you. She was the one that did, that was there for you. She was that gave you that push when you say, oh, "I don't want to do this anymore." She gave you a push. Um, you know, so all that many guys. Yes, yeah, so it's my brother die. You know, and and she's been through with me through, through it all. I mean, my daughter's my daughter's been through with me it all. But my daughter, you know, when, when the kids get older, they think they know it all. She turned eighteen in August, and she decided to leave the house and, you know, did her own little thing. And and and, and you know, she's a whole different story. I don't want to talk about my daughter, but um, but yeah. So it's it, it's a new experience for me. You know, getting a house, my own home. Um, I have to work for it now because. Past few years that I drank a lot. I mean, I, I've sustained. I've sustained a lot of jobs. Um, this job that I have now, I'm gonna have to let it go. It's in the airport, but I, I can't get transferred because they don't have an opening for me over there. But as soon as they do, I can get in. But for now, I just keep on. I, I, I'm a hustler. I'm, you know, I can sell. <clears throat> I can sell. I, I can sell ice cube to an Eskimo. That's how good I am. You know, so I don't. I don't. I don't worry about that. Me not getting a job where I'm gonna go to. It's just. Being that it's the first time getting a house, now you got now you gotta, now you gotta pay mortgage payments. And but the good thing is that it's my house, that I can do whatever I want with it. And my wife and I we have plans to do some certain things to the house. Um the house is moving ready. It's a nice house too. We have a lot of I, I have a lot of space outside, which is good. Um my kids are already grown, one is eighteen, the other one's gonna be turn gonna turn eighteen the day after Christmas and, and I'm just looking forward to all that, you know. I've done my job, you know, as a father. My kids are my stepkids. I, I took them since they were nine years old. I'll be ten years with my wife, and we got me. We married for we've been married for five. And my stepkids are my sons, you know. And um, <clears throat> it gives me great pride and joy to say, you know, that that I I took them, I raised them, and when they become good, when they when they have become great members of society, they're good now. But when they become men, you know, I can say, you know. I did that, and they can say, you know, I'm the man who I am because of my dad. You know, so being, you know, like I'm saying, uh, being a father, it's, it's different. You know, anyone, anyone can be a father. Anyone can just impregnate a woman if you can. You know, but it takes a real father to stay there. It takes a real father to be there, and even takes even more father to raise kids that are not even yours. And that's hard because when it comes to a point, they say, Ah, you're not my dad. You know, blah 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 blah. But I thank God that my kids never said that to me. You know, from from day one, they've always called me dad. And sometimes I get mad. I say, "No, nah, don't call me that. Call me Gio. I'm not your dad." But then I, you know, I'm joking. I'm joking. But um, but I've been blessed. I, and I thank God for that. I've been blessed with a beautiful wife. I've been blessed with beautiful kids. I've been blessed with beautiful daughters. I can't complain. Um, and that's it. You know, it's, I'm just, I'm just enjoying life. I'm enjoying life to the fullest. I'm enjoying life to 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 the best of my ability. Um, I don't hurt no one. I don't lie to no one. There's no point. You know, the lies coming back to you at the end of the day, you're gonna have to keep on telling lies to compound one lie to compound another lie. Before you know you have a woo, you have a whole list of lies, you're like, oh shit, which lie did I tell? So you gotta have a good ass memory. And I have a good memory, but I just don't wanna I don't wanna lie to nobody. You know. 
my wife tells me I'm too blunt. I'm blunt, but to a point. You know what I'm saying? I'm not rude blunt. You know, my daughter, I, I tell my daughter what she did wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Dad, you're always talking stuff about me. Like, I'm not talking stuff about you. I'm telling you the truth. You know, but, but I'm blessed. And if you can bless someone this Christmas and you can hug someone this Christmas and you can let them know that God loves them, that God is with them, and you can bless them in some sort of way, whether it's a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you can give, a hug, a, you know, a warm hug, or a hot chocolate, anything. Let them know they're not they're not alone in this world. You know, we see we every day we wake up and we watch the news and we see some form of cruelty, some form of either animal cruelty or human cruelty. A kid is being kidnapped. Look at that young girl, that little baby. She's like what, two or four years old, got kidnapped in New Jersey two months ago, and she still hasn't been found. I can only imagine what they're doing to that little girl. What what happens to that little girl? You know. Hopefully, I, I, what I'm thinking about her father picked her up and be, they were having they were having spats, spats and you know, I mean, that she's an immigrant, and she doesn't want to say anything. But hopefully, you know, I pray to God that the girl's okay. But guys, do the best that you can as a human being. Don't hurt no one. Um, like I said, do the best that you can do with what little you have, and you're gonna see the results. It may take you some time, but at the end of the day. You're going to see the results. Anything that you do illegally, anything that you do that is easy, it's not worth having. Trust me, it's not worth having. So if you sell drugs, get out of the drug business and become a drug seller. I mean, become a salesman. Go to a store, sell, go to a PC Reach or sell something. Go to a uh, 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 furniture store, sell furniture, sell cars. Put your, everybody has an ability. Everybody has a gift. Just find it. And if you say if you don't have a, you don't have a gift, you don't have a gift, just keep on trying. Look for it. Don't let yourself tell you, don't 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 kill yourself think, oh I'm not worth it. No, you are worth it. Everybody's worth it. And if anybody tells you that they're not worth it, then that that person doesn't belong in your life. Always try to put yourself with people who are going to animate you, people who are going to uplift you, people who have your dreams, who have your aspirations, those are the people you're supposed to hang out with. Okay? Those are the people that you're supposed to go, you know what, I want to hang out with this person. Because, not because he's cool, because I, every time I, I, I think of something, that person always puts me up. That, put me, that person, you know, he's my, he, he's my go-to guy or she's my go-to girl. You know, people that, 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 will, boom, that will raise you. Not, not people that are like, ah, oh, you're not going to make it, so why waste your time? Blah, blah. That's, ne that's, that's negative energy. You don't need negative energy. Make sure that 2020 comes in with a bang, that you have great friends or, or limit your circle of friends to certain people that you know they're going to be there for you in the good and the bad in the good or in the bad don't 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 circle yourself with with, with, with bad influential people no don't do that so guys i'm um, enjoy your christmas enjoy your day don't forget 12 o'clock midnight um today actually at 12 o'clock midnight for the one hundred dollars all right peace